Guys, we reached 15,000 subscribers on YouTube. That is so exciting. 15,000 people subscribe to me. That is so crazy. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate the love. I appreciate all the comments. Like I recognize a lot of you guys who comment in every video and I appreciate the love so much. I wish I could meet all of you guys and give you like a big hug because I am so proud of our little community. Thank you, thank you, thank you for 15,000 and I can't wait to see what the rest of the year has in store for us. And I wanted to celebrate with you guys by uploading one of your favorite videos on my channel and that is a bookstore vlog. I haven't been to Barnes & Noble in over a month so we are long overdue for a little bookstore trip and that is exactly what we're going to do today i literally have no idea what kind of books i want to pick up i don't have a list well i guess i do have a tbr but i don't know if i want to stick to my tbr or if i want to venture out and try some new books that i really haven't heard of i don't know we will figure it out once i get to barnes and noble but i'm super excited this is one of my favorite videos to film and i know that you guys really like watching these types of videos so i thought this would be a fun way to celebrate 15,000 of you beautiful subscribers and that way we can hang out together and get some books <laughs> It is a few hours later and I'm now back from Barnes & Noble. I feel like this wasn't a successful bookstore trip for me. I don't know what happened to my beloved Barnes & Noble store, but their selection of books sucked 
today. Normally, I want to buy the whole Barnes & Noble store, but today I struggled to find books that I thought I would enjoy. I don't know why. If they were in between shipments, if they didn't receive new books, I don't know what the situation is at the Barnes & Noble I normally go to, but I was just not happy today. <laughs> I did manage to pick up a couple books that I am genuinely excited to read, so that's a good thing. These are the books that I ended up picking up. I'm going to start with the queen herself, Miss Colleen Hoover. This is a prime example of what I mean by the Barnes & Noble that I normally go to not having a big selection of books today. They barely had any Colleen Hoover books. Normally, they have a ton of Colleen Hoover books, but today they had very, very few books. But today I decided to pick up Hopeless. Every time I go to Barnes & Noble, I see this book and I never picked it up. So today I decided to pick it up since there was nothing else that I could buy from Colleen Hoover. But this one is basically about Sky, a senior in high school, meets Dean Holder, a guy with a promiscuous reputation that rivals her own. From their very first encounter, he terrifies and captivates her. Something about him sparks memories of her deeply troubled past, a time she's tried so hard to bury. Though Sky is determined to stay far away from him, his unwavering pursuit and enigmatic smile break down her defenses and the intensity of the bond between them grows. But the mysterious holder has been keeping secrets of its own. Only by courageously facing the stark revelation can Sky and Holder hope to heal their emotional scars and find a way to live in love without boundaries. Hopeless is a novel that will leave you breathless, entranced, and remembering your own first love. Doesn't that sound amazing? I mean, I am obsessed with Colleen Hoover. I've read so many of her books. I just continue to really enjoy her writing. She always grabs my attention from the very first sentence and doesn't let go of my attention till the very end. So I'm really excited to start this soon. The next book that I'm really excited to read, and I actually circled my Barnes & Noble store like three times because I kept missing it. And it turns out that it was right in front of my face the whole entire time. But that is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I have heard heard so many great things about this book and at first I really wasn't interested until I read the synopsis and I was like hold on this sounds amazing it kind of gives me like knives out the movie vibes let me know in the comments below if you read this book the majority of people that I see talking about this book only have good things to say about it and I believe that the third book in the series because yes this is part of a series the third book in the series comes out later this year I think it's September so I figured I would read the first book now. She came from nothing, they have everything. Let the games begin. It's giving me Hunger Games. <laughs> this one basically follows Avery, who has inherited a billionaire's fortune. The only condition in her being able to receive his fortune is for her to move into his family's mansion. I don't think she's ever met this billionaire, but the billionaire for some reason decided to give her all of his money instead of giving his family his money. So Avery ends up moving into this family mansion with the rest of the Hawthorne family members who most of them seem to be suspicious of her and are questioning why this billionaire, I think it's their father or their grandfather, has decided to give all of his money money away to a stranger. They also want their hands on the inheritance because they think that they're entitled to it. I feel like this is going to be such a great book that's going to have me at the edge of my seat. Listen to this sentence. Caught in a world of wealth and privilege with danger around every turn, Avery will have to play the game herself just to survive. Again, I'm getting like Hunger Game vibes. I don't know why. I actually want to read this in a sleepover vlog video that I am going to film probably next week. Let me know if you want this book to be in that vlog or if you want any other book that I bought today to be featured in that sleepover vlog and I can definitely include it. I almost picked up the sequel because it was right next to this book but the sequel was hardcover and this one is paperback and I don't really like mixing paperback with hardcovers within a series. Like if I buy the first book in a series paperback, all the other books have to be paperback and vice versa. I don't know, I'm weird like that. So I ended up not picking up the sequel but I'm just going to order the sequel off Amazon and call it a day. 
say. Speaking of series, the next couple books are all part of a series. I don't know why I just went crazy with series today. Normally I like to read one series at a time. I don't like to read multiple series at the same time because then I get overwhelmed. But for some reason, the majority of the books that I picked up today are all part of a series. Not the same series, different series. I don't know why I did that, but I did it. The next book that I picked up is Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. This is another book that I've heard a lot about. On the back, it says that if you are a fan of the Pirates of the Caribbean, then you're going to love this book. And I'm a huge fan of Pirates of the Caribbean, like Jack Sparrow, Johnny Depp. Please come back to Disney. I know they did you dirty, but please come back for the fans. I need another Pirates of the Caribbean movie. And if Jack Sparrow isn't in the next Pirates of the Caribbean movie, then I don't want to watch it. What's the point? Cancel the movie. 17 year old pirate captain Alosa deliberately allows herself to be captured by her enemies, giving her the perfect opportunity to search their ship. More than a match for the ruthless pirate crew, Alosa has only one thing standing between her and the map, her captor, the unexpectedly clever and unfairly attractive first mate ridden. But not to worry, for Alosa has a few tricks up her sleeve and no lone pirate can stop the daughter of the Pirate King. Very excited to read this. I've only heard great things about this book. I think one of you guys actually recommended this book to me, so I will be starting this very soon. The next book that I picked up is Unravel Me. This is the second book in the Shatter Me series. A few weeks ago, I read Shatter Me for the very first time during a 24 hour reading vlog. I think I gave it like a three out of five stars. I actually really enjoyed that book. It was oddly addicting and I had a lot of fun reading it. So I decided to pick up the second book in the series. I'm not sure if I'm going to read the novellas, the books in between each book in the series. I just don't feel like it. Let me know in the comments if you think I should read the novellas, if you think it's going to make a difference or it's going to make me like the series better. If you guys think I should, then I'll end up ordering the uh, novellas on Amazon or something thing but I just don't feel like I need to. This book basically deals with the aftermath of the events from the first book. I'm not going to say what the events were in case you haven't read Shatter Me. I don't want to spoil the first book for you but this one I think takes place right after the first book and it still follows the main characters so it follows Juliet, Warner, and Adam and I'm very excited to start this. And then the next book that I picked up is one that I've been saying that I want to buy for a very long time and I just haven't bought it until today and that is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I believe this is fantasy. I'm 100% sure this is fantasy and this will be the second fantasy series that I've ever read in my entire life so I'm very excited. I recently finished the A Court of Thorns and Roses series, really enjoyed Sarah J Mass's writing so I'm hoping I enjoy Miss Holly Black's writing as well. Jude was seven when her parents were murdered and she and her two sisters were stolen away to live in the treacherous high court a fairy. Ten years later, Jude wants nothing more than to belong there, but many of the fae despise humans, especially Prince Cardin, the youngest and wickedest son of the High King. To win a place at the court, Jude must defy him and face the consequences. From number one New York Times bestselling author Holly Black comes the first book in a stunning trilogy filled with twists and enchantment as one girl learns the meaning of true power. So yet another series that I decided to start. I don't know when I'm actually going to read this book, hopefully soon. I've heard a lot of things about this series, but so many of you have told me that this book isn't that great, but that the books get better as the series progresses. I think I'm going into this book with low expectations and hopefully I'm pleasantly surprised. And before I forget, I did pick up two new little bookmarks I could not resist. These are so freaking adorable so I could not resist picking them up. This was such an unnecessary purchase but you know what they were too cute to pass on. The first one I picked up is just this really pretty charm bookmark and it has bloom and a bunch of floral decor and I just thought that was so freaking pretty and girly. And then and the second bookmark that I picked up is very similar to the first one, but this one just says good vibes only. And it has a cute little palm tree and I just thought that was adorable, especially since I live in Florida. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I am obsessed with palm trees. I'm always taking pictures of them. I've lived in Florida for over a year now and I'm still not over palm trees. So I thought these were such cute little additions to my bookmark collection that I have going on. Oh, and then the bloom one has a little rose so freaking adorable but yeah 
and they're only five bucks 5.99 i think i got them for like 5.50 because i'm a barnes and noble member but really cute and that is pretty much everything that i picked up during my barnes and noble trip let me know in the comments below if you have read any of the books that i mentioned i will love to know let me know your opinions your thoughts also leave some book recommendations in the comments below because i need book recommendations ever since i filmed that video reading seven romance books in seven days i have been in a romance book strike i just haven't really felt the desire to pick up any romance books i'm getting there i picked up a colleen hoover book after all but i'm still not 100 percent back to being obsessed with romance i think i need a little break from that genre so that's why i picked up some fantasy and fiction is the inheritance games fantasy i don't think it's fantasy i just think it's straight up fiction but normally when i go into barnes and noble i pick up all romance books and i didn't do that today so leave me some good book recommendations in the comments below and i'll be sure to pick them up next time i go to barnes and noble but that is pretty much it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you a part of my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys